Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to a new video. Today, I want to teach you how you can keep track of the active or the selected tab in your Ionic React applications. I've seen this question posted quite a lot in the official Discord for Ionic, which is in the description. And I've seen it on forums as well. And I wanted just to show you my take on how I do this in my Ionic React applications. There's also little tricks that we can do whenever we know which tab is currently selected programmatically. And I'm gonna show you these in this video. So if you haven't yet subscribed, please make sure to hit that button. It really helps me out. So with that being said, let's jump straight into this. So here we are in our little test Ionic React application. In the previous video, I showed you how we can render roots and ion tab buttons dynamically from an array of objects. If you haven't checked out that video yet, I've left a link in the top right of this video. Go and check that out and then come back. If you have checked it out or if you understand already how to programmatically render roots and buttons, then we're good to go. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to keep track of which tab is currently selected in our Ionic React application. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to fix up this app component to allow us to use some hooks. One thing that we need is we need a use state variable to hold the selected tab. So let's say selected tab set selected tab equals use state and the initial value of the selected tab should be the first tab that your application redirects to now if we look inside our array of objects we can see based on this redirect equals true that it is tab one however in our ion tab button here the tab is actually zero because of the array zero index. So our initial value up here is going to be tab zero. And the reason why it is tab zero is because we've specifically set the tab equal to tab and index. So this could be anything. However, based on what you have implemented here is what should be in the selected tab. So that's our initial value setup. The next thing that we are going to utilize is the on ion tabs will change. So we can use this within the ion tabs component. We can select the on ion tabs will change. And in here, we want to capture the event and set our selected tab to e.detail.tab. So what this is going to do is it's going to set the selected tab to whatever tab has been selected or whatever tab will be selected based on this. So now that we know that we have stored the selected tab in our use state variable, we can now use this inside our map function here. So we can create a simple little boolean called is selected and this is going to equal if selected tab is equal to tab index and the reason for this is because this is what we've named our tab down here and we know that the on ion tabs will change will set our selected tab to the tab name so if these two are equal then we set is selected to true so now we have a boolean that tells us that this specific tab is actually active or selected. So now we can do some cool things with this. For example, if we came into ion icon, we could say color equals is selected success else primary. And before I save, what this should do is if the tab is selected, it should be a green color. And if it is not selected, it will be the primary blue color. So let's save this. You can see that we are navigating between our tabs and our selected tab is now displaying as green each time we press on a tab. 
So now we have access to the selected tab. So there's lots of things that you can do in here. You could set the icon to a different icon. For example, we could come into our index.js where we're building up our pages. And we could say selected icon equals ellipsis. And this one could be outline. And we'll just do this for each. Selected icon equals square. And then finally, selected icon equals triangle. And then inside our app, we can use that selected icon instead if the tab is selected. So in here again, we can say is selected and pull out our selected icon from our page. Then we want to use the selected icon else use the icon and you can see that the selected icon is the filled icon and each time you navigate the icon changes based on if you're active on that tab so guys that's pretty much it that is how you can keep track of the active or selected tab within your ionic react applications this is probably one of the easiest ways I think of doing this using this on ion tabs will change and just using a use state variable. It's very simple and effective implementation. So if this helped you out and answered a few questions for you, please do leave a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please make sure you do. And until next time, I will see you in the next one.